and our position is that we that those sensitive digital and video material that indicate the actual uh, shooting and injuries will not be released and can be viewed um, at our office and defense counsel agrees we've also put in place a protective order for all the rest of the uh, evidence and documents so that it's not leaked on behalf of the, the victims in this case. Once counsel agreed to do that, we tendered approximately 500 pages of discovery, which I'm told they were um, in possession of late afternoon, yesterday. That was simply the first wave of data that we had, Your Honor. We received another 40 gigabytes of data consisting of additional reports, recordings of witness interviews, surveillance videos, and witness statements, all of which must be reviewed and tendered. So we do not have all of the discovery. We we approximate, we, we probably have a third of it. As, as you know, there are a lot of um, witnesses to interview, and that is ongoing. The Oakland County, Oakland County Sheriff's Office has been working around the clock to provide us with digital evidence obtained from electronic devices seized during this investigation. That evidence will be voluminous as well, and we don't have it in our possession. Um, our detective um, here, the officer in charge, can tell you he's worked around the clock and most of his agency has as well, as well as other agencies. As a result, we're asking this court to find good cause to waive 20, the 21 days and adjourn the probable cause conference until after the new year to allow the parties to receive and review these statements. We anticipate being ready to present um, the preliminary exam uh, in February, Your Honor. And lastly, as the court knows, these children's and family these funerals have just recently concluded. The prosecutor's office has a lot of work to do with a lot of the, the victims and the families, and we do not think it's in their best interest or the, in the interest of justice to do that during the holiday season. Um, there are several witnesses to prepare, and we want to make sure that we're, we are prepared to go forward on the date and time set for the preliminary examination. We anticipate that it will be 15 to 20 witnesses and that it will take three to five days. Anything on behalf of the defense attorneys relative to the request of number one for the request to be adjourned for the preliminary examination, as well as number two, any re uh, what place the stipulation on the record as it relates to the request of protective order? Uh, good afternoon, Your Honor. The defense does acknowledge receipt of the discovery that the prosecutor described. We are not objecting to the adjournment. In fact, we're joining in the request for the adjournment, and we did um, review and sign the the protective order. We don't have any objection to the protective order. Um, so I do have a, a copy of a protective order that was provided to the court on December 13th at about 11.30 a.m. Um, for each case based upon the stipulations that were placed upon the record by both attorneys. Um, I will go ahead and sign that protective order for both cases. As far as the request for the adjournment is concerned, can I have uh, both the defense attorneys and the prosecutor approach the bench? The arraignment. And then if I grant the request for the adjournment of the preliminary examination, you will not have it during that period of time. Do you understand that? Yes, I do, Your Honor. And are you willing to waive that right at this time? Yes, I do, Your Honor. And Ms. Crumley, do you also understand that you do have a right to a preliminary examination within 14 to 21 days of the date of the arraignment, and that if I grant the request for the adjournment, you will not have your preliminary examination within that period of time? Do you understand that right? Yes, Your Honor. And are you willing to waive that right? Yes, Your Honor. The court will go ahead and reset the preliminary examination for February 8th at 1.15. At this time, I'm, uh, that's the only date I'm giving you. If it appears that we need additional days, then we'll deal with that on the 8th, um, based upon the availability of the court's calendar. Um, please uh, make sure that you are all prepared to proceed to exam on that date and time with appropriate exhibits. Um, if you want to have exhibits marked ahead of time, all you need to do is contact my court reporter, and, that, and um, you can have that accomplished. Okay, any argument on Ben? Your Honor, not at this time. Um, however, the defense will likely be filing a motion re regarding bond. You're going to file a motion regarding bond? Yes. Okay. Okay, hang on a minute. i got to check my calendar to see what I have.
appeal to benefits to people.